Ever heard a footballer say he enjoys training? Didn't think so. Boring, repetitive and nothing like the fun of playing a game, training sessions are the bane of every player's life. But thanks to the unique methods employed by the club's new Head of Sports Science, Stuart Ailes, the Wickham players actually look forward to their daily sessions and long-served midfielder Matt Bloomfield turned reporter for the day to tell us why. Uh, you've been able to implement some of your ideas into our training schedule. Uh, we have the yoga, the swimming pool, um, the running machine for JP. Yeah. Even the head tennis is helping towards that. Obviously, I'm feeling the benefits this year. I feel fit and strong. Um, ha, ha, you know, it, with each of them, how do they help us? We're starting with the yoga, sort of. How do you think that's helped us? Um, well, now that the lads have sort of bought into it a little bit, um, it's going to help us with increased flexibility increased strength in extended positions, breathing control, yep. things like that. Uh, and also relaxation because a lot of the players find it difficult to relax mm -hmm. um, when they're away from, away from the ground, training ground and after games. That will help with that. So um, it's a good thing. We'll, we really see the main benefits from that, you know, maybe in six months mm -hmm. sort of time. You know, it's not a short term thing, that's more yeah. of a long term thing. Yeah. seeing improvements yeah you can see their increased flexibility especially with their hips um, but also in their breathing they're focusing for longer anyone standing out there are a few that have um, definitely improved I think um, Gareth is one um, Danny always puts 100% effort in and you can see that he's moving forward in his postures um, and also um, Stuart's doing really well um. The you know the treadmill for uh, JP is an anti-gravity. It's treadmill. been great for him, hasn't it? He's got yeah, a lot of work yeah, on it. you know. So that, uh, basically, that means we can start running him earlier than we could without yep. it. You know, we can reduce his body weight, mm -hmm. get him back running, which which should, if everything goes well, bring him back uh, into the training earlier, and you know, than we would have done without it. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, this is the uh, Ultra G machine that um, Stu's managed to get for me to help me get on the road to fitness quicker basically it just um, lets you train at a percentage of your body weight which is basically enables you to run at a higher speed earlier on in your injury so hopefully get me back fitter sooner and then on some recovery days we obviously use the swimming pool back for the olympic style weights i think that that's been good for the lads yeah. the power the power weights yeah the uh, the swimming pool was a as you know was a bit of a struggle yeah uh, to get everyone in the swimming pool <laughs> yes at uh, times at times, but um, it, it's just a great way to, to recover because it, you're moving through the water, um, thousands of gallons of water, um, the pressure of that against your muscles will, you know, will just flush out any, yeah. you know, any sort of byproducts of the game that are still in there, so that's a great way to recover. What you thought fully on the tonight session? Uh, abysmal, to be honest, yeah. I'm, I'm a footballer, I feel like I'm trying to be an Olympic 2012. Uh, waiting for Rebecca Adlington and Duncan Goodchew to turn up, really. Right How do you feel? Yeah. This is the right hand side. Just, uh, yeah. just talking about the tactics. Yeah, just right. Talking, tactics. Oh. Just talking tomorrow, tomorrow, yes? Oh, yeah. Overlap, jumping yeah. left. Yeah. Crosses and shots. We're talking. Chicken rack. No. Any quote for me? Quote of the day. Yeah. Big bounce from there. The power weights, um, the lads have taken quite well to that, no, no. Um, and yourself, mm -hmm. you know, we've done solo sort of separate sessions, one-on-one yeah. -on -one sessions where we've taken the weight up, so uh, it's... Um, I think it's something that if you buy into it and do a little bit extra, yeah. you can really see the benefits. Absolutely, from. absolutely, and, and again, that's something that will develop, it's not an instant um, thing, it's something yeah. that we'll, we hopefully reap the rewards mm -hmm. towards the end of the season and, and definitely next season.
and the head tennis competition that was that was your doing um yeah it's uh you know it can be dark days in the winter at the training ground and you don't want to get into the, the groundhog day scenario of coming into training and same old same old but um so we just uh, we've done a little bit in rehab with with the lads with Greeny and and Westy when they're in rehab yep. and uh, and JP obviously get them moving mm -hmm. and it developed into uh, a competition so, as things um, usually do around there yeah as they do the lads are very competitive and um, and it'll be interesting to see the we've got the uh, quarterfinals to play yeah and uh, and which I'm still in but yeah I, I know yeah yeah you, you had to get that one in, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it, it's it's going well and it keeps a, a good atmosphere around yeah, the place. Yeah. You know? And moving forward, we've got the new heart rate monitors that you're implementing in today. Um, yes. Is there any other ideas that you you hope to maybe? Oh, we've got hundreds for you. <laughs> hundreds. Yeah. You, you know. Trying to get a head started. Yeah. Know what's coming. Um, it's one or two things that um, that we still like to introduce. You know, um, we've got to time it right to yep. to bring it in. Otherwise, it's too much too soon mm -hmm. for everyone. So, um, and again, it, it it just keeps everything ticking over uh, yep. rather than just plodding along in the same same thing same yeah. you know every day so overall in the 90 minutes for the lads how do you think each of the little um fitness stuff that we do contributes uh, to the overall game for us right um well if we start with the yoga um as you know we're, we're during a game you've seen the still shots uh pictures in the paper when the lads got their legs high in the air trying to control the ball yeah the yoga will give you strength when, you, when your leg is high and extended in right. that position. So if you do get hit, we've got more strength and, and more resistance to injury yeah, yeah, there, yeah. there. As well as being able to control your breathing during spells in the game, you know, when you, if you've done repeated sprints and mm -hmm. things like that, to help you recover. Um, obviously, the power weights will increase um, the ability to jump and hit the ball yep. uh, and give you more um, a solid core mm -hmm. and, and strength as we go through the game yep. and uh, and you feel more explosive as well um, we're not exactly going to increase your speed like that we can increase your reaction in, in your initial power output yeah. um, the the head tennis will just keep uh, everyone buzzing but what influence <laughs> that has on the game <laughs> I, I really don't know but again it could improve your touch yeah, as, as you know like, no, that, course, like everything yeah, yeah. it's all about controlling the ball yeah um, and the the, the the speed stuff that we do at the end of warm ups, yeah. um, it, it's all about that, that initial burst, that acceleration, you know, reaction times and things like that. Because it's, it's not normally, you don't very often get up to full speed yeah. uh, in the game and be able to run 50 meters yeah. racing somebody. It's all of, over five, five ten, yards, 10 yards, yards, you know, yeah. little things like yeah, that, which is, which is the way we work. Yeah. So um, all in all, hopefully if things go well, it, it does help. You know, yeah. let's help with the game. Anything that can help us and uh, improve results and help us to where we want to get. Absolutely, yeah.